So today we concluded an experience that <clears throat> no, no, pal, I'm not doing it because you go like this. Okay. So well. if you if you can't like subtly turn, it has to be all okay. right. So today we concluded an experience that we both began about a year ago. The details are less relevant. We would like to share with you um, an idea that is still sitting with us. One of the many, but not too many ideas that we know is not just applicable to our lives. And it's not something that um, is so revolutionary, but it's so real. We live our lives as individuals. And as individuals, we, try, there, we know that there's so much deep within ourselves that we want to release. There's these energies, there's this, the better of you, the, the beautiful of you, the, 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 the flowing and soaring of you. But the way to bring that out actually is not alone in isolation, but it's through your connection and the delving into relationships, the passing ones, but more significantly, the intimate ones, whether it's your partner, your spouse, your, your children, your siblings, your parents, and the deeper you delve into those relationships, the more you bring up of yourself, the more you share of yourself, the more space you give for the other to be there, together with you, the more there comes out from you, the more you can soar, the richer you are. And in a certain sense, I'd say that the, the secret source of life is not in yourself, but exists when you connect to another. And it's a very relevant point in the three weeks, uh, the time when we mourn the Bet HaMikdash and the destruction of the Temple, and we one of our, our sages teaches that uh, the reason for the destruction of the second, second temple is for, for disconnect, or more severely for, for hate, for, and love, but more than love, connection is the solution to that. Uh, it's not flowery, it's hard work, but there's where the movement of life occurs. We didn't use the word community. Um, it's not relying on a community. It's recognizing which relationships we have that matter and uncovering a layer of that relationship and um, playing with it and staying in that allows us for a richer understanding of ourselves and the other and the possibility that can be nurtured. So in this concentrated times, when our larger circles of life are not with us, focus on the inner circles. Those matter a lot.